Oh, my loves, my loves, my lovely loves. I'm feeling a bit better. Not back to 100% yet, but definitely, uh, to honest to goodness, I know they say men complain about colds and, you know, they always think it's man flu, but that... It's horrible. It, it were brutal. I could tell you're feeling a little bit better because you were singing briefly in the kitchen, and that's always a good sign. Well, I started singing last night because I thought, I'll show you, Virus. <laughs> um, so, it's the first night. Hello, it's Tuesday. <laughs> the first night of a brand new meals vlog and uh, as always I will mention last week's one which I'll link above and below in the first comment which I've started to do now after one of you asked any um, vlogs that I mention in this one and say I'll link them above I'll link them below too so this is the Sainsbury's Plant Pioneers No Fish Fillet and as you know, if you're a regular to our meals vlogs, we love a kind of chippy tea. We do. Now and again. Uh, do you want to cut yours open, Jane? Uh, just show folk what the inside looks like. We've had this before, but it's been a while. It has been Once. a while, but I remember when we first had it, we both said it was very good. It's kind of fish cakey, kind of, sort of. It's lovely. And I've done a tartar sauce with, of course, vegan mayo, some lemon juice, a chopped up gherkin, and some caper berries. And we've got a bit of bit, bit of bread and but a bit of bread and butter <laughs> on the side. He can tell I'm ill, as if it, as if I struggle saying a bit of bread and butter. Well, it's there's a lot of bees in there. It's my life. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything to say? I, I'm I'm I always say the same thing, mate. I'm thoroughly looking forward to diving into this because I had a pasty for my lunch today and it, although the homemade pasties from yeah, yeah. the live on Sunday delightful wasn't a lot no. my fault all my fault <laughs> should have took some bread with you should have known you'd have to apath. any road here you go fishless fish chips and the last tin of the bachelor's gastro and mushy peas with a hint of chilli with some frozen peas chucked in for texture gonna have to start putting um Chilli in plain old mushy peas now, aren't I? <laughs> Vegan fish and chips. It's how we're starting this particular meals vlog, but not our week, because like I said, it's Tuesday. So we'll see you on Wednesday. <laughs> Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Wednesday night. Oh, have you heard me? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I suppose we've got an early. Yay! Because we've both got tomorrow off work. Um... I've been off all week because I've been ill, but I'm I'm definitely getting better. I'm not there yet though. It's uh, it's been a little bugger this virus that um, jumped in my bed on Sunday morning. How <laughs> rude! Um, you might remember last week we had uh, curried vegetable rice. With, I can't remember what we had it with. Don't look at me. My memory's terrible. Anyway, I had a load of the rice left over, um, so it's been nuked. To death uh, because it was leftover rice and you've got to be careful with leftover rice and I've just done a really simple I fried up some Iceland no chicken style pieces usually I cut them up for a curry but it's not really a curry I just left them whole added some peas and cherry tomatoes to the pan and I did in the small cup of the Nutribullet a tomato some tomato puree some curry powder some garlic powder, two finger chilies, and a big heaped tablespoon of peanut butter. So it's a kind of sort of peanut butter based curry chicken. Yeah. With vegetable rice and a naan bread. Hey! Uh, it's st I'm still on the recovery mission, so this is part of my recovery. Do you want to have a try of, of that? Yes. Well, yeah, you've already had the rice. Yeah, of course, yeah. I may get myself a, a knife, to be honest, because these are quite big pieces, aren't they? They are. I might cut, cut these up a little bit, but uh, I'll give it a try with a, with a martyr. Mm. Very nice. So it's like a curry paste, a peanut butter based. Yeah. Curry paste, but without the sauce. It's kind of giving me like satay vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very nice. Kind of sorta. Of. Yeah. Oh, so there you go. Uh, chicken satay curry <laughs> <laughs> with vegetable rice 
and nan bread. Our Wednesday evening. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Thursday night and we're having a TVG classic noodle soup. And yes, there is um, peanut butter in this soup, but only in the soup base. Um, so I'll put I'll pop the recipe. I won't outline it again because I've done a recipe vlog for this reason. Um, the paste of the soup in that recipe vlog. An additional item would be a tablespoon of heaped, a heaped tablespoon of crunchy peanut butter. Uh -huh. uh, and then you get this lovely lot. Noodles, carrots, cabbage, tomatoes, garlic, ginger, chilli. Um, it's another, come on Paul, get well now love. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm still in recovery, uh, doing really, really well now. But this is uh, yet another delicious but truly truly medicinal meal uh, simply because of the the ginger and the garlic and the chilli and you know and we were right in the mood for noodles as well yeah and tofu that's a block of tofu from Lidl Lidl's own tofu uh, well Venmondo uh, I just cut it up in little cubes and fried it up with some chicken salt and some black pepper set it aside and then did the rest I don't want a taste of the soup Brommers spot on yeah spot on just beautiful half a massive scotch bonnet in it yeah um we if, if, if we've room and i'm sure we will have i'll link the uh asda vlog the january vlog uh up there that we did uh today funnily enough so much stuff so much stuff yeah it's a cracker again isn't it? it is an absolute belter i mean you know what i think bottom line and i probably should have said this on the asda vlog <laughs> You can find fault with every supermarket, but you can. There's a, we have. We, there's a lot to celebrate. So much. Yeah. So much choice. As we always find out when our American friends comment and say you've got so much more than us, yeah. and German friends yeah. and Canadian friends. And the prices as well. Yeah. So there you go, my loves. It's a classic TVG noodle soup with tofu. Really looking forward to getting my head stuck into this and fish, finishing off listening to Red Hot Chili Peppers Californication, if you don't mind. Randomly. We paused it for this. <laughs> <laughs> right, onward. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's a bit of a random... Do you remember last week when we went out for lunch to Molino Lounge and then we ended up having a lighter dinner? Well, here we are again. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is uh, Friday. And we've been to meet uh, the lovely Stuart today in Liverpool and had a gorgeous lunch. And we'll just whack a quick scene of just the food in here. Right, Stuart's gone for the spud ball. Jason's gone for the... The hash stack. The hash stack. And I've gone for the Vex Royale. Two vegan poached eggs on a bed of spinach, on English muffins, covered in hollandaise sauce. I might have to ask Jason to um, film while I cut one of these open, because I think it'd be rude not to see that. So yeah, lovely, lovely plates of food. So yeah, I'll put the link above if you fancy going watching that vlog, it's a cracker and the vibe in Liverpool was amazing. Uh, so I just said to Jason, should we just have a sandwich? And he said, have we got any soup? And we did. <laughs> we had a tin of Heinz plant pro proteins, tomato and bean soup. So I thought, right. So we've got one sandwich with corn ham on and one sandwich with um, grated applewood. Oh, nice. And a little, little bowl of soup. Soup and a sandwich. It's a classic, really, isn't it? Of course, the sandwiches will get dunked. We're not stupid. Of course. Um, and yeah, nice little drive out to the pool today. It's been lovely, you know, it's been a cold day, but it's been um, a blue sky, lovely and sunny in Liverpool. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it just was a nice Wasn't hours. the vibe fantastic? The vibe was in absolutely incredible, like really incredible. I love what they're doing there. Yeah, I, yeah. I absolutely love what they're doing and the passion comes through from the kitchen, in the food, the staff, everything. Yeah. Um, if you're in Liverpool, get yourself to the vibe, seriously. And if you don't mind, we'll get on with smashing this in us faces. 
for it's Friday night, and this is Meals Vlog. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Saturday night, and it's mukbang night. So look, we're having these fabulous pizzas. Jason's having mushrooms <laughs> from uh, double box we got from Little. Do you want to show the box, dear? Just in case they've still got it in for Christmas. Try it. Uh, for yeah, we showed it in our little vlog. So we're having one of them each. We're having. We're trying these dark fire hot sauces that we've bought at Vegan Camp Out last year. And we're trying that Vadaz, Vadaz, hot and sweet jalapeno relish. Um, and we're live on YouTube, so I hope you were there. And if you weren't, where were you? We missed you. And this was lovely. I hope it bloody was now. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, loves. Hello my loves, it's uh, Sunday night, I nearly said Saturday night then, but of course that was the mukbang last night. Um, yeah, Sunday night, and uh, today we filmed our final um, Veganuary shopping vlog. If you're watching this on Tuesday, the day it goes up, uh, it will be uploaded tomorrow at 5pm. And in it, we got these sticky sriracha wings from Quorn, clearly marked vegan 75p in clearance so i thought oh, do you know what well like jay said we saw one at ready meals there today didn't we and the rice looked perfect we did we commented on it i don't know that we caught it on camera but we did comment on it and then i basically was like i really want some rice and beans now <laughs> because I saw that rice in uh, in Morrison's. I was like, we were both like, mm, yeah. And so, I said, let me oblige, good sir. Yes. So I've done some brown rice with two vegetable stock cubes. I cooked it in two vegetable stock cubes just to impart some flavour in there. I did some garden peas for the last few minutes. Sticky sriracha wings from Quan, and the last of the Aldi. Um, what they called spring rolls mm -hmm. and some of the uh, sweet jalapeno wasn't it? sweet jalapeno chutney that we had on last night's mukbang and a bit of bread and a muffin and some of the dark fire um, kimchi hot sauce oh it's gorgeous and it'll go quite well with a meal like this um, just in case they become a regular feature this yeah 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 I'm just going to pick mine up with my fingers. So you cook them in the air fryer and then you put them in a bowl with the sauce and toss it round. Oh, mm. they're pretty nice actually. They are. Mm -hmm. Texturally lovely, actually. A bit more hot sauce for me, I'll probably put some of that dark fire on. Yeah, it's very mild. But there's a hint. That makes it accessible to everybody, though, so, doesn't it? As a base level. Yeah, a nice, a nice sweetness. Um, some of you will find it really spicy. Some of you that are averse to spice, but most of you will be like, oh, yeah, that's, you know, mm -hmm. lovely. Tasty. So there we go. It's a kind of sort of um, takeaway style meal. Yeah, I suppose. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but, you know, neither of us minds that. On a Sunday, when well, we've got work tomorrow, final day at meals, vlog tomorrow, loves. So we shall see you then. Bye, loves. It's Jason's lunchtime taste tests. Hello, you lovely person. And this is what I have for my lunch today. Uh, it's a quick one today uh, for several reasons. One, uh, I am mega busy. Um, but two, um, I don't even know, to be honest with you, if you can still get these in Aldi, I had a quick look online, couldn't find them. Uh, obviously, it's a veganuary thing. The nutrition on the front is really good, nice and healthy, mild on the uh, on the spice. But essentially, this is a no chicken tikka masala snack pot with tomatoes, garam masala, garlic, and coriander. Let's have a quick look on the back. Take you through the details. Instant macaroni pasta in a tikka masala curry sauce with chicken flavour. And uh, there's the ingredients. It's a may contain, which is often the case, but of course, clearly marked, suitable for vegans. It's already uh, had the hot water added to it. So I'm gonna give it a stir. 
and of course give you my honest opinion i think these were about a quid give or take so um if they are still available in aldi i will let you know whether you should bother trying to get a few okay so am i redder than normal selfie camera Anyway, um, okay, so what I've found with these Mac type pots before, I think um, Wicked do one, um, I think, don't quote me on that, um, sometimes they need to be left a little bit longer to uh, properly cook the pasta, let's give it a try, mm, it's cooked, you don't want crunchy pasta do you, you know what I mean, okay, there's a very slight kick to it. I just got at the back of the throat. Hmm. It's not blowing my head off with flavour. But, it's quite nice. Really. I think it's on a par with most of the other pots that are out there. Uh, and I think it's on, a, on par with, um, with pot noodles as well. Although I have to give a special shout out to the Fusion pot noodles that are clearly marked vegan. They are great. But um, this is tasty. Nothing wrong with it at all. If your local Aldi still, by some miracle, has them stocked, um, because I do think they're a Veganuary thing, um, I would highly recommend you pick, pick up a couple. Uh, I'm just looking to see if I could see the date on it. Uh, November 2024. So... Good till November. Worth stocking up on a few of these. Kind of wishing I'd have bought a couple more now, to be honest. But um, it's a gamble. Give it a try. If you get chance, your local Aldi, uh, if they've got them in, let us know down in the comments if they've still got them in um, post end of Veganuary. Taste it. Uh, I'm going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. Um, yeah. Stuff the rest of this in my face. Get on with my working day. Thank you, as always, for checking out the meals vlog, checking out the channel and everything that we do. Back to our uh, normal um, upload schedule through February. But there'll be bits and bobs, as we've mentioned in previous vlogs. But uh, I'm waffling now. I'm going to eat the rest of this. As always, take care of yourself. And I will see you very soon. Hello, my loves. It's Monday night. Once again, we're on the final night of a meals vlog. Uh, it, in fact, this is the... Um, the last full meals vlog of January. Yes, it is, isn't Because it? next week's meals vlog will ha only have two more days of January in it. We are um, the 29th of January on this very day, I believe. Yeah, I think you're right. Am I? Just check. Yeah, 29th. So, it's a TVG classic. Spaggly Bobs and Meatballs. Um, the meatballs are from Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's meat free meatballs delightful. very delicious fry them first get a bit of uh, colour on there at least on one side tomatoes are uh, tomato sauce from the freezer from our allotment um, with just some peas and garlic added and of course the gorgeous uh, garlic bread from uh, Sainsbury's which is clearly marked vegan this is this is a meal that we used to have as veggies and we've just continued as vegans. Spaggly bobs and meatballs. You can't beat it, really, can you, Bob? can't. It's rapidly become... Well, it's always been one of my favourites, to be honest with you. Mm. Um, but it's been... It's dropped down a couple of places since the uh, your creation, babes, of the... Uh, like the noodle soup, for example. I mm. think that's just above it now. But oh. it's always been one of my favourites. Why did you have to remind me of noodle soup? <laughs> oh, no, no. oh, always. Um, absolutely delightful. Um, and of course, yeah, we are rapidly approaching the end of Veganuary, but, uh, yeah. you know, if people want to jump on the uh, the bandwagon and, and get on the vegan journey, of course they can do it any time of the year. Exactly. Exactly. So, uh, whole wheat spaghetti, always. We, we, we always have brown rice, we always have whole wheat pasta. Uh, it's just a thing we've done in this house for a long time. So, whole wheat spaghetti, uh, plant pioneers, um, beef style meatballs from Sainsbury's in the freezer, homemade tomato sauce, a few peas thrown in, bit of garlic bread. What a cracker. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye, loves.